Hello and welcome, I'm Berta Stormtrooper and today we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Studio Series 53 Voyager class constructed on Mixmaster and I love this toy. Before we check them out, if you haven't done so already, please take a moment to consider subscribing to the channel. It won't cost you anything, but it will help me and the channel out. If you'd like to further help out the channel, please share it with your friends. If you like what you see, post this video all over your social media. Ask your friends to come over, check out the channel, and also subscribe. Since we're losing our community options and our notifications, the only and the best way to keep up with the channel is to come back and check it out often. I usually upload one to two videos a week, sometimes more. Additionally, if you'd like to help the channel even further, I have placed a donate button up at the top banner. If you want to click on that, I certainly do appreciate it. Now, as always, thank you so much for watching, and let's go check out this figure. And here we have the Transformer Studio Series 53 Voyager Class Constructicon Mixmaster. Released in December of 2019, he is starting to hit stores right now. As of the time of this recording, he is a Voyager class, so he retails for approximately $30. Now, here we have the mixing truck mode, the concrete mixer mode, and this truck is approximately 8 inches long. It's about 3 inches tall. Very good size for a Voyager. Rolls just fine and just going all the way around so you can see all the detail. Just a little bit of robot cable, not a whole lot. I think that's pretty forgivable. The details on this vehicle are really, I just love how this rolls. It rolls so nice. And I think he's really nicely detailed. Check out the wheels. They are all painted shiny silver. I love that. Lots of very cool detail here. The smokestacks are unpainted gray. I, I don't know how they missed the mark. The, 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 the grill and the brush guard, they're painted silver. The little detail on the hood is painted silver. The little bulldog with a Decepticon head, if you remember that, that's painted silver. The windows are painted. The wheels are painted. But then they didn't paint the smokestacks. I don't know how they missed that mark. But other than that, this thing looks really, really nice. And if you really want to paint that up, that wouldn't be too hard to paint that. And these little details up here are probably not too hard to paint. Yeah, very cool little mixing mode here. Now we've got a couple of modes to get to, so we're gonna get into it right away. So getting into the robot mode, the first thing we're gonna do is pretty much split the entire back of the truck in half. So we're just gonna start splitting, splitting, splitting. I'm gonna take the side fenders here and the whole drum, everything else, because the drum doesn't spin. And we're just gonna take everything off to the side just like that. There's someone here. Now there are pegs and ports for all of this. So this, these are all pegged here, here, and here. They're pegged there, 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 and then the drum is also pegged on these four points here. So it holds really nice and solid when he is in truck mode. Uh, let's see, what do we want to do next? Let's uh, go ahead and separate these. We're going to flip these over all the way around just like that. Take this whole piece, fold it down. That tab is going to go into that slot and snap right into place, and we're going to flip them over. And we're going to bring these out just like that. Take the legs, separate them. These are double hinged, so we're going to go up on this hinge here and then down on that one and straighten out the leg. Same thing on this side. Straighten out the leg. And there are his legs pretty much all done. We're going to take this entire thing and flip it over, just like that. And now we're going to start separating. So we're going to separate the top of the drum and then bring that thing in. And then there is a hinge in here. There's a double hinge right in there. Let's move that up just a little more. So right in there, there's a double hinge. So we're gonna bring this up and over like that. Just like that. Come back around here. We're gonna separate this. It's going to come down. It's tabbed right there. And then there's a hinge there and there. So we can bring this whole thing down like this and flip it over. Now, before we do that, I guess we need to get this out of the way. So bring the claw over and then we can bring the arm up and over like this. And turn that around. There we go. Snap that into place. And I'm doing something wrong here. Oh, I know. That goes all the way over. There we go. So the drum part needs to be on the outside part of his arm there. And bring out his claw. Same thing on this side. So we're going to separate the drum. Flip over on that double hinge. Bring this piece in. Bring down the claw. Bring this down. Flip the drum over like this to kind of armor up the outside of his forearm bring those down and then the last two things we're going to do is go ahead and separate the shoulders here this one's really tight on mine that's going to allow us to bring up the head and now we can go ahead and re-snap those shoulders back into place 
And then finally, uh, using this tab here, we can push down on that to bring this piece up, bring that all the way up. And now we're just going to position him up. And here is Mixmaster in his robot mode. And uh, you know, this is a figure, I think this looks pretty cool. This is a figure that I originally didn't like with the original Revenge of the Fallen line. Um, for whatever reason, that figure just seemed so fiddly and inconsistent. Like it just didn't feel like a consistent, solid robot mode. I don't know if that makes any sense to you. Um, so I was, you know, and it was a triple changer as well. It did the art, the cannon mode. And I don't know, I, the colors were all off. He had a lot of grays on him. I don't know, something about that figure I didn't really like, and, and I didn't get to see enough of it in, in the movie to kind of appreciate the robot mode. This figure has totally changed my opinion on Mixmaster. I really like this a lot. And I'm trying to get the best approximation. If you've ever seen that artwork, the concept artwork of him with the drums, rotated where he's kind of making a shield out of himself um he does a pretty good approximation of that pose which is kind of what i'm trying to work on right here the only issue is this would have been really cool addition if they would have added some hinges right there it looks like they were kind of thinking about it the way the molding looks uh so that you could rotate these drums over and make that kind of that shield mode that would have been cool but there is mixmaster in rollout mode and i really like this uh this figure this just looks so cool to me. Here in robot mode, Mixmaster is approximately five inches tall at the top of the head. Six and a half if you want to go up here to the top of these tanks here. And yeah, he looks really cool going all the way around. So you can see all the detail, not a whole lot of kibble sticking out of him. He does have the front part of a truck, but I think that's actually accurate. Just sticking out of his back there, kind of that hump looking thing back there. Uh, but not really very kibbly for a figure that it kind of on first impressions looks kibbly but then when you really look at them it makes sense it really does make sense articulation the head is on a hinge in the on the, on the base there so the head can go back uh you know up and down as you saw for transformation but then the front of it is also i lost the head also on a ball joint so he can look around up and down a little bit so you can kind of pose the head all over the place if you'd like the shoulders, as you saw, they can go up and down. They can also go forward and backwards. And then you have a rotation on the outside of the shoulder here so that the shoulders can go all the way around. And again, another hinge here so you can go out again. Down here at the elbow, you have a rotation right there at the forearm and a bend at the elbow. The hands are just kind of claw, so they just kind of go up and down a little bit. Nothing at the waist. The uh, hips right there, he can go forward, backwards, in and out. Like The thighs right there have a rotation. Knees can bend that far. And then the legs can go that far. So, yeah, very cool figure. Again, one that I didn't really care for this design. Originally, when Revenge of the Fallen came out, or the original Revenge of the Fallen toy, also did not do this character or this design any favors for me in my mind. Uh, but I really like the way this figure looks. I'm really, really enjoying this. And I can't wait to get the rest of these guys all put together so that we can form Devastator. Now, I find that the head mode is easiest accomplished from the truck mode. So I've gone back to that to show you the head mode real quick. So we'll just back up a little bit. And to start off, kind of a spoiler because the first thing we're going to do is reveal the head and then we're going to work on everything else. So uh, push these off to the side right here. Take the whole front of the cab and just pull this off and then set that off to the side. Take the windows of the cab, flip these up, reach in here and pull these panels out. Reach in here and just kind of push his head out. It can get a little tricky. It, it fits in there quite tight. So sometimes it comes out easier than others. Bring it all the way out. Take these two flaps in here, bring these out. Bring the windshield back down again. And then these two pieces are gonna tab right into the mirrors. Finally, these two flaps here are gonna tab in there and there. And there's your face pretty much all done. I'm going to straighten out the smokestacks. There you go. Now we're going to work on the back of the truck. And this is kind of a halfway in between the truck and the uh, robot mode. So once again, we're going to split everything right down the middle. Bring this all the way out. Bring this, if it unpegs, all the way out. And then we're going to take these, bring them. Actually, we're going to come down around here, flip these down. Now we're going to bring this all the way down. The reason for that is if you remember these pegs were tabbed into the peg hole right there. You see the one on the top there, that's the one for truck mode. The one on the bottom, that's the one for head mode. So we're going to leave that there for now. Take the legs. Once again, we're going to separate these, 
bring them out and over just like we were going to do for robot mode and then just kind of leave them down and out of the way. Take the drums here, separate the drum once again, flip over on the double hinge, not all the way, I'm, wrong, I'm only going to flip it about halfway and put that away. Same thing on this side, separate the drum, bring it up and over about halfway, put that away. And then on these parts here on the bottom drums, all we're going to do, well, get these claws down and out of the way on both sides. And then on these drums, we're going to unpeg them. Remember, they're pegged here for truck mode. So we're just going to unpeg that, bring it up and over, and flip it just like that. So that the uh, open part rests against the top of the wheel wells, the curved part is facing straight up. So same thing on this side, unpeg, flip over, and rotate. Just like that. Now we're going to start pegging everything back together. So once again, we're going to take these pegs are going to go into the bottom peg holes. And then that peg and that peg need to tap in together. And then the drum needs to peg in together. It does get tricky. And we're probably going to miss some of these things on camera. I'll do my best to show it off as I go. So there's that. Now I'm going to bring that one there. And then these two and the rest of the drum. Probably not going to show on camera. Tap those in, and then bring the drum together. I said drum together. <laughs> Come on. It's not cooperating. Of course not. It's on camera. Why would it? Uh, and then these also peg in together. There we go. But that's going to stay put away. Okay. So there we go. Again, halfway truck, halfway robot mode kind of thing. And then this I'm just going to bring up and over. So all the way to the front for now, but I am going to adjust it later. Okay, now we're going to bring these up. There's uh, slots there and there that the feet are going to tab into. Bring these up to the side. Just bend it at the knee. Bring these up to the side and tab them into place. There. And there. And it is a little fiddly right now, but this is all going to come together in just a moment. Get the camera up a little bit. Straighten that out. And we want to get make sure that these two slots are pegged in tight because now we're going to bring in the front of the truck and these two tabs are going to go into these two slots right here. There and there. Tab that in, tab that in. Bring these down, make sure that everything is straight. And then finally, I'm going to take the drum, and I like to just bring it back up a little bit just to fill in that hole. And there you go. That is Devastator's head mode right there. And as you can see, this thing is pretty massive. So I'm really looking forward to seeing, make sure that those are tabbed in tight there on the sides. There we go. I'm really looking forward to seeing what this guy's going to look like together. I'm not sure if the smokestack should be out a little bit for Devastator mode or not. That kind of looks cool to me. I, I don't know. We'll see once the uh, rest of the figure comes together. But there you go. That is uh, Devastator's head mode. You can take the mouth, open this all the way up like that. So I kind of wish it did the, the jaw coming unhinged and separating as well. I think that would have looked pretty cool. But as it is, this is what we got. And uh, yeah, that looks pretty menacing and pretty cool. So there it is, Devastator's uh, uh, head mode. And that about covers the Transformer Studio Series 53 Fourier Class Constructicon Mixmaster. Let me know what you think of this figure. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and share with your friends if you like what you see. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you next time.